All right, good morning, good evening, good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, citizens of YouTube. This is Pastor Dow. I'm going to give you um, an example of this wicked, corrupt system of so-called American justice and the double standard. Now, we all know that uh, regardless of what these jackals, these, these um, people who function above the law, and that lets you know that the law uh, really, truly uh, has nothing to do with the people who are part of the establishment, and, and those who are actually the movers and shakers in this country. Uh, because if that was the case, that means Bill Clinton, when he was impeached as a president, they would have kicked him out of office. Uh, that means that um, uh, Hillary Clinton, regardless of how many people they paid off in these backroom deals and how much extortion is taking place and how many lives have been threatened because these people are just murderers. These people are gangsters and they're murderers. And um, Clinton should be in jail um, pending trial on this Benghazi thing because, you know, hey, when you're part of the good old boy club, you don't have to ever worry about going to jail. Well, look at this. Only in America can a woman uh, have all these federal charges pending against you and you can still go out here and run across the free world and campaign and run for president. But, however... This innocent man right here, which many of you have probably have never heard of this story, wait till I read you this story right here, and I'm going to show you the double standard of American justice. All right, listen real close. Colleen, new trial date set for man accused of killing police officer. Notice he is accused of killing police officers. Watch this now. Watch this. Now, let, let's see how the story goes, but let's watch what they say the accusation is. Let's exercise a little bit of autonomy here, okay? Marvin Lewis Guy, and this is a jail photo. In other words, without trial, he's already incarcerated. And look what he's getting incarcerated for. Watch this, watch this. This is posted Friday, 2.29 p.m., January 8, 2016. Colleen. A district judge has set a new trial date for a clean man who is accused of killing a police officer during a raid on a local house. Now, the truth is, notice, the raid was on his house, not just a local house. See the spin? All right. Judge John Gauntlet of the 27th District Court set Marvin Gay or Marvin Lewis Guy for trial on his capital murder charge on September 26. Watch this. Listen. Listen. Are y'all getting this so far now? Have, have y'all heard this so far? Watch this. Because before I go any further, a police officer, if you allow them, can kill you, beat you up on the side of the road, um, lie, plant drugs, incarcerate you, um, and do all this unjustly, and get off scot-free. Matter of fact, they can even still go home at night and eat a turkey sandwich. Pending investigations. And mind you, when the news media is giving us the story, they'll tell us, you know, anytime we know that the cops is guilty, even though it's sitting right there on video camera, well, let's just not rush the judgment. Uh, uh, <clears throat> uh, you, you know, um, uh, right now, these are allegations and, and an investigation, a thorough investigation must go forward before we rush the judgment. But if you and I do something, oh, you're a criminal. You should be thrown under the lowest parts of the jail. He should be incarcerated. Oh, man. Now, listen to me, because I'm trying to get y'all to understand something. Guy is charged with capital murder in connection with a May 9th, 200, uh, 2014 fatal shooting of Colleen Police Officer Charles Dinwiddie and two counts of attempted capital murder in connection with the wounding of two other officers during the same event. Bell County District Attorney Hendrick Geiser has said he'll seek the death penalty for Guy at trial. The trial date was set off because Guy's origin, original attorney was released from the case and a new attorney appointed. The new attorney, uh, Carlos Garcia of Austin, told the judge he needed additional time to prepare for the case to complete discovery uh, from the state. 
Then when he was killed, when he was shot in the face during the execution of a no-knock drug search warrant at a house. No drugs were found. Now, notice how they build this whole entire story up to get you, the general public, to automatically see that this guy was totally unjust. Now, let Pastor Dow read between the lines and tell you what's not disclosed. In other words, there was four or five cops, fire team. They have a warrant. They go to the wrong house. They enter into this man's house unannounced. This man, home is his castle, and he is protecting himself, regardless if you are a police officer or not. And apparently, you can say that this guy was pretty well trained up. He knew exactly what he's doing. So, without any war warning whatsoever at all, the police officers enter into this man's home. This man justly defends his castle. He shoots one police officer in the face. He shoots and injures another or two or three. And you know what? He is still alive. And what the system wants to do is give this man the death penalty because the law enforcement officials unjustly entered into his home. How many times have we have seen over and over and over again of cops going into the wrong place, shooting the wrong people on bogus warrant charges at the wrong address and nothing is ever done to them? The family has just suffered a loss. There's no amount of money that you can pay for a lost loved one when they're totally snuffed out of your life. This man, what they're not telling you, see, this is American gymnastics. This is American theater. This is American circus. Because they take you and I and lock us up like some criminals and stuff. And, and what they're not, again, not, not disclosing you is that this man was defending his home. These police officers entered his home unlawfully. That's what they're not telling you. And one got shot in the face, two or three got injured, and I applaud him. <laughs> Not for the fact that he shot police officers, for the fact that he defended his home against an intruder, somebody that was trespassing. And we're going to have all this circus and all this stupid dog and pony show. Let me tell you something. We were on this country. Not by justice but by laws. And laws is based on whatever setting judge said. And whenever you get one attorney recruiting himself from the case, they're going to bring in somebody else that's going to capitulate. Somebody else is going to acquiesce to what the judge says as he steers this. Now that's the truth. And that is the true straight way. Now who going to stand up for this man? Where are the cops at to stand up for this man to say that that was true. These, these cops should have not entered into this man's home like gangbusters and busting down his door and everything and, and guns blazing. And, and, and you know what? That's, that, that also lets you know. It also should communicate to you. And it should also teach you what it means to be ready. Because regardless, one cop is dead, few of them injured. He may be in jail getting three squares on a cot may even be in this country right here, he ain't going to get no justice in America. You can you can look at him and tell him he ain't going to get no justice in America. He's possibly going to get the death penalty because of this unjust system. But you know what? He had his own justice. He sure did. He, he defended and protected himself and his home successfully against a terrorist threat. See, if the cops would have identified themselves, then chances are none of this would have went down. But it clearly tells you even in this little article right here that this right here, and mind you, I got this information sent to me by somebody who actually knows the case. Isn't that something? It's a sad, sad situation. So this should teach you cop something. Don't I don't care what a warrant says. The system can give you a warrant, tell you what you can do and stuff. You go to the wrong home, you go to the wrong place at the wrong time, that could be the last day that you be on this earth. And you know what? Uh, the system didn't protect you from a bullet. 
The system didn't protect you from someone who was trained and knew how to protect themselves. One man against four or five of these guys, and he defended his house successfully. Now, let's see if this one goes viral on the internet because isolated incidents like this, no, 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 no. This guy, I get, you don't never hear about on the news media. Have you heard about it on the news media? I haven't heard about it on the news media. If you have and you've got this story, let me know. I thought it's from Colleen, um, January 8, 2016. Uh, da, 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 da. I don't know if it's in Texas or what. Colleen, new trial date set. Mm. See, they try to paint it as if this guy just unjustly shot a police officer when all he did was protect himself. Do you see what it means? And do you see what I mean? That whenever people are using words, and whenever people are trying to spin the narrative, when they're trying to get your mind to be focused and centered and, and to go down a certain way, it sure is nice to have an independent mindset. It really truly is. It sure is nice to be able to know when these jackals are lying. I can look at these, these news reporters on TV. And I can tell you flat out when they spin in a story. I don't even have to know all the ins and outs. I know what they're doing in order to manipulate the story. And it's a sad, sad thing. Freedom of press, we don't have no press. The press is all sold out to the powers that be in the establishment. I applaud this man and I'll do it again. As a matter of fact, I'll give him a standing ovation. Marvin Lewis got, whether you die unjustly in this wicked occupiers of this land system, at least one thing, you have one man on this earth that respects you for your stance. And my name is Pastor Dow. Good job.